Hey everyone, um, this video is of us driving through Gitarama, Rwanda, which is about an hour outside of Kigali. Um, just want you to pay attention to how, just how clean it is outside of just Kigali itself, the city. Um, throughout this whole trip, the entire country is clean. Um, also, at the end of this video, towards the end of this video, um, Gabby, our, our tour guide, explained how Rwanda basically became clean in one day, essentially. Um, so yeah, here you go. Just check it out. Gorgeous city. Um, beautiful people. Lovely people. So, hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. They say this is the middle, middle, middle. This is the prison, like right here. Behind as well. Yeah, like it's a mm. prison. It's a Mohanga uh, prison. Mm. This road also goes to Kibuli. Uh, 
us to do it tomorrow. But we will go to Brazil together. The play is already on the north. Keeping the city clean, like well held, even the entirety of Rwanda is clean. Do they um, kind of teach recycling in school now, or so, or like teaching to, so they develop they those habits? They teach recycling in school, but they, they, they're trying to do some recycling. Mm -hmm. But I'll be honest with you. To me, Rwanda changed one day. Like, <laughs> one the day. way it became clean, uh -huh. the cleanliness started the day. They banned plastic bags. Uh, up all the plastic. And all the plastic bags and ban them. And after tomorrow, if we see a plastic bag in your area and you are leader, you mm -hmm. will answer for that. Oui. So even the president went out to pick plastic bags and ban them. <laughs> and from that day, every the look in the changes. Changed totally. So in what? Very clean. So one day it was a trial day, and then the next day I was like, no, 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 we're making it mandatory. No one works. Yeah. Everything shut down. Everybody yeah. go out, pick yeah. up all the plastic yeah. bags. Like all the Friday, like the Friday mornings. Uh huh. All the, I mean, the Saturday, the first, the last Saturday of the month, the whole morning, no cars are moving. Nothing. Like the only people who can move is either if you're going to the airport or to the hospital. Ah. Yeah, the two places they will let you go. So and sometimes if you like for example if I have clients who are supposed to go on the like I have to drive during this time. Right. I'll have to go to and explain it. Yeah, like I have a paper that you know permit me to move around during <laughs> that time. Otherwise if it's a bus they will stop you wherever you stay and they will give you slashes, go and slash them. Oh man. So you, and this is the last Saturday of every month? Yeah, last Saturday of every month. The early morning is closed. So, and you so can't go anywhere unless you go to the hospital or airport. Area, uh -huh. The whole of that area, the whole of that hill is is a, a, a Christian, like Catholic, Roman Catholic. Uh -huh. All those houses you see, they have schools, they have seminary, and mm -hmm. then. And some people say that, you see the, the church there? Mm -hmm. That the altar of that church is the one that's built in between Rwanda. I don't know how these white guys calculated it before, because this was their first cathedral. Wait, they said the whole of that church was built? Like the altar of that church, uh -huh. but it's built in the middle of Rwanda. So if oh, you middle measure of the, the actual... crystal south, north, oh, east, I see. west, they are all saying. I don't know how they calculated to do that, but and it's funny because you see it's a whole big area compound mm -hmm. that's all for priests. So the the local here called the the hill Vatican. Mm. The hill Vatican. Vatican. They call it Vatican, but in Kiyaranda they call it Cub Guy. Cub Guy. Cub Guy. 